So you've got a Flipper Zero. It's an incredible multi-tool that can handle RFID, NFC, sub gigahertz, and infrared. It truly is the Swiss army knife for geeks, but it has one major limitation right out of the box, no internet connectivity. Today, we're going to change that. And we're not just attaching a generic Wi-Fi board, we're going to do it with a fantastic community device that I've been a huge fan of, the PicoCalc. My name is Jay Blank and I'm the creator of the Flipper HTTP firmware. I'm going to personally walk you through how to flash my firmware onto a PicoCalc. This will give your Flipper Zero full internet access and unlock a whole new ecosystem of applications. The best part? We'll use the PicoCalc's built-in screen for live feedback. Seeing the raw communication logs is a game changer. And that's why I was so excited to add support for this board. This isn't just an upgrade, it's unlocking a new dimension for your flipper. Before we start, let's talk about the hardware and software and why this combination is so powerful. First, the Flipper Zero. Its magic lies in the GPIO pins on top, which allow us to connect external hardware and expand its capabilities. That brings us to the second piece of the puzzle, the PicoCalc. You might mistake it for a simple calculator, but it's a brilliant community project built around a Raspberry Pi Pico W. That W is key. It means it has Wi-Fi built in. While you could use the official Flipper Wi-Fi dev board, the PicoCalc screen is its secret weapon. This is where my software comes in. I created Flipper HTTP, a custom firmware to act as a bridge between the Flipper and the internet. When I saw the PicoCalc, I knew I had to support it. I specifically updated the firmware to use its screen to show what's happening behind the scenes. So when your Flipper is scanning for networks, you'll see the live communication logs right there. It's the clean, integrated solution I always wanted for this project. Using this firmware, I also built several apps, like a weather app and even app stores that let you download software directly to your Flipper over Wi-Fi. Today, we're getting you connected to all of it. All right, let's get our equipment together. The process is straightforward, but you'll need a few things to ensure it goes smoothly. First, the hardware. You'll obviously need your Flipper Zero. Make sure it's charged and running a relatively recent firmware. It doesn't matter which fork, but being up to date is always a good practice. Next, you need the star of our show, the PicoCalc. Just be certain it's the version with a Raspberry Pi Pico W inside, as the W is what provides the Wi-Fi. You'll also need a micro USB cable that supports data transfer, not just charging. An easy way to check is to see if your computer recognizes the device when you plug it in. And of course, you'll need a computer to download the necessary files. Now for the software, you'll need to grab two things. First is the Flipper HTTP firmware. Head over to my official Flipper HTTP GitHub page and navigate to the PicoCalc folder. Inside, you'll find the .uf2 files. Grab the file that matches your hardware, Flipper HTTP PicoCalc W for the original Pico W or Flipper HTTP PicoCalc 2W if you have a Pico 2W. The second thing you need is the companion Flipper Zero app, Flip Wi-Fi. You can download it from the official Flipper application catalog. So a quick recap, Flipper Zero, a Pico Calc with a Pico W or Pico 2W, a micro USB data cable, the correct .uf2 file from my GitHub, and the Flip Wi-Fi app installed on your Flipper. Got all that? Excellent. Let's get to the fun part. Okay, this is where we give the Pico Calc its new purpose. Flashing a Raspberry Pi Pico is incredibly simple. We simply download the file, put our Pico into bootloader mode, and then drag and drop it onto the device. So let's get the Pico Calc into bootloader mode. Find the boot select button on the Raspberry Pi Pico board, which is located inside the Pico Calc case. 
Now press and hold the boot select button. While you're holding it, plug the micro USB cable into the Raspberry Pi Pico board, not your Pico calc. Once connected, you can release the boot select button. Your computer should now recognize it as a new USB mass storage device. If you're on a Pico W, it'll say RPI-RP2. If you're on a Pico 2W, it will say RP2350. This behaves just like a standard USB drive. So now locate the UF2 firmware file you downloaded from my GitHub, and all you have to do is drag and drop that file directly onto the drive. When we drop the file, the PicoCalc flashed itself with the new firmware, and then the drive automatically disconnects from your computer and the device will automatically reboot with the new Flipper HTTP firmware. And that's it. The PicoCalc is now a dedicated Wi-Fi module for your Flipper Zero. You can unplug it from the computer. The hard part is already over. With the PicoCalc flashed and our app installed, it's time to physically connect the two devices. Be careful here to connect the correct GPIO pins. It boils down to three wires, a ground, transmit or the TX, and receive, the RX. Since the PicoCalc has its own power button, we don't need to connect a power line. To be specific, you need to connect the PicoCalc's TX pin to the Flipper's RX pin, and then the PicoCalc's RX pin to the Flipper's TX pin, and then lastly, a ground pin on the PicoCalc to the Flipper's ground pin. Notice how TX and RX are crossed over. The Flipper transmits to the Pico's receiver and the Pico transmits to the Flipper's receiver. This is standard for UART communication. Double check your wiring. Getting it wrong likely won't cause damage, but it definitely won't work. Once wired up, you can power on your Pico calc. It will first say ready and then immediately try to connect to a Wi-Fi network if you have one saved already. Now go to the apps menu on your flipper and enter the GPIO folder. You should see our new app flip Wi-Fi. All right, this is the moment of truth. Let's fire it up and see it in action. With the PicoCalc wired to your flipper, go ahead and launch the Flip Wi-Fi app. Now inside of the Flip Wi-Fi app, if we click scan, we'll see the interaction on the PicoCalc screen. That's the real-time feedback I wanted to build in. You're literally watching the two devices communicate. Your flipper can now perceive the wireless world around it. From this list, you can select a network and the app will allow you to enter the password using the flipper's D-pad. And once you enter it, you can save and connect to the network. My firmware is designed to remember the network so any other compatible app can get online automatically. To see the real power, let's imagine you have another app installed, like my Flip Weather app. Once you've saved your Wi-Fi credentials in Flip Wi-Fi, you would just open Flip Weather. Once you click Weather, it would automatically connect, fetch the latest weather data, and display it directly on your Flipper's screen. You just given a device designed for offline short range interaction, full access to the internet. You can now even download or build Flipper apps that interface with web APIs, sync data to the cloud, or even communicate with other Flippers online. What we accomplished today is much more than a simple hardware modification. We've bridged the Flipper Zero to the internet using a powerful combination of the PicoCalc and my Flipper HTTP firmware. We've walked through finding the files, flashing the board, installing the app, wiring everything up, and finally connecting to a live Wi-Fi network. 
For me, the on-screen debug log from the PicoCalc makes this the definitive way to use the firmware. You aren't just hoping it works, you can see it working with your own eyes. This is truly just the beginning. I'm always working to expand the Flipper HTTP project using the apps that rely on it. And the community is constantly inspiring me with new and creative uses. So I'll turn the question to you. What will you create with your new Wi-Fi enabled Flipper? Will you build a custom stock ticker, a tool to control your smart home, or maybe just enjoy scrolling social media on a tiny monochrome screen? Let me know your ideas in the comments below. If this video helped you out, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more deep dives into the Flipper Zero and other fascinating tech. It's free and really makes a huge difference for my channel. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.